and welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and I want to make a video now in nature about hepatitis. I was asked, I, ha I own a herb shop called HigherSelfHerbs.com and I'm avid in, in, avidly interested in health and healing from disease and sickness which I have done in my own life which I was very unwell and incapacitated for like 10 years and I'm still making great recovery now. Um, and I was asked by a customer what would I recommend about for hepatitis C or hepatitis in general and I did a lot of research and I'd like to share with you in this video what I would recommend if I had it myself or if a loved one like my mom or my family member had it. So what I learned below is a is it I just shared it on Facebook already and also on my Higher Self Herbs Facebook page. So you're welcome to have a look at the, the supplements, the things that I would recommend or that I would take myself. One for example is hepatitis affects your liver, so excellent ones which would be liver famous, time proven, powerful liver herbs such as milk thistle, milk thistle extract basically. Um, doesn't matter if you take the seeds or the extract, people generally take the extract because you don't mean chewing on a whole lot of milk thistle seeds and the seeds are a bit harder to come by anyway. <laughs> um, I would recommend a formula called Liver Rescue by Health Force Nutritionals, I have it in the link below. It's on special offer in that link as well, which is fantastic. This is where I order things from often if, if it's not already on my website. On my own website I would recommend Shazandra Berries. It's a famous liver protective herb and a liver regenerative herb. So Shazandra would be definitely one I'd be taking, as well as Milk Thistle, um, the Liver Rescue formula, which also contains dandelion root, which is protective against your liver. Um, on my website I would also, on my own Higher Self Herb store, I would recommend and would take Cordyceps Medicinal Mushroom Extract and also Rishi Medicinal Mushroom Extract. Rishi is the king, of, the king of mushrooms, the emblem of prestige and herbalism in ancient China, which is like renowned for its herbalism. Um, Rishi is great for psycho mental, emotional, psychological factors and improvement and well-being, anxiety, stress, depression, fear, many other things. It's great. It's also, it's a gene herb, which is good for your, your root energy. It's good for chi, which is everyday, daily energy, and it's good for, as I said, shen, as classified by Chinese medicinal system. So Rishi and Cordyceps are famous for immune system modulation and immune system protection. So that would be great against hepatitis for sure. And one advantage of Cordyceps is it's absolutely famous for ATP production and um, energy levels in the blood. So I think it's oxygenation of the blood and cellular ATP, which is the energy unit, unit produced by the mitochondria in every single cell of the body. So when our ATP goes low, our energy goes low. Um, so cordyceps became famous because athletes were doing so well in the Olympics and they, they were Chinese and they were found to be using cordyceps. Cordyceps is, was in ancient times and only up till very recently the most expensive thing in the world almost or the most expensive herb in the world anyway. <laughs> it was actually more expensive per gram than gold or silver or diamonds. Could you imagine that? Because it was so rare and so beneficial. I take cordyceps every day and I take a bit of reishi every day also. And I take shizandra every day. Another thing I'd recommend for my shop would, and what I would take myself is gynostema tea. Gynostema tea is <laughs> affectionately known as poor man's ginseng. But it's actually just been shown to have three times more saponins than ginseng. It contains ginsinicides, or if that's the right pronunciation, the saponins that give ginseng largely its, its brilliant properties of energization without stimulation and enhancement of the body, the energy. So, gynostema not only has eight or so ginsinicides, but it also has it has between 92 or 100 or more saponins, whereas ginseng only has around 32. Gynostema is possibly the best adaptogenic herb on the planet. 
and the reason gynostema was fa was found the reason it was found was because it was discovered in a certain geographic region in China um, the people were living very healthy very old into the 90s the hundreds and they they all swore by and said it's because they take this tea every day from this plant they called it miracle grass and it's also called gynostema so the scientists came in they did a lot of studies and sure enough so they found it actually did have a whole lot of beneficial substances unbelievable and now ginseng uh, now the gynostema is a staple for many herbalists and health enthusiasts worldwide and they take it every single day it's a type of thing it's cheap you can buy it in tea form you can even like um, use the same um, serving of tea. You can re, re pour boiling water over one or two more times after the the initial one, so it lasts longer. So I love uh, Gynostema. It's uh, the most adaptogenic herb possibly on the planet. It's good for lowering cholesterol or lowering or hiring blood pressure. It's good for waking you up and energizing you in the morning. It's good for relaxing you or helping to go to sleep at night time. Whatever is low, it'll help bring balance to, or whatever's too high, it'll help bring balance. So Gynostem is an awesome herb I definitely love to use, especially since it's so cheap, you know. Um, another thing which I'd recommend is Coenzyme Q10. I've started taking this lately and um, as I said again, all of this is below in the link. Um, Coenzyme Q10 is is it's responsible for a ATP production which is energy and anyone who uses cholesterol lowering bloods uh, cholesterol lowering drugs they're also called statin drugs these deplete you and rob you of your coenzyme Q10 CoQ10 for short so anyone who's on prescription um, medicine for lowering cholesterol these will these stereotypically can have heart problems because the heart uses a lot of coenzyme Q10 and, and so cardiovascular problems and uh, energy problems, people who really use these drugs. So it's highly recommended anyone using these lowering cholesterol drugs to supplement with coenzyme Q10. But similarly, anyone who's been through a lot of stress or a lot of like hardship, um, physical like illness, to coenzyme Q10 can go low. So it is recommended. Um, I was very sick. I went under tremendous stress on physical hardship and sickness debilitation so I'm, I'm using it now just to see what it's like and I actually think even I only started two days ago I honestly sincerely feel that it actually really has affected my energy already and I can't I'm actually surprised because I wasn't really too sure you know often you try things and it doesn't really have much of a difference but this seems to have had a difference I've checked out loads of testimonials on it so again have a look in the link at your convenience it'll be there all the time so you don't have to do it right now you keep watching the video <laughs> So another thing that's recommended um, is things to enhance your immune system. Um, some things like turmeric, shown to be anti this, anti everything, like anti-inflammatory. It's phenomenal. Uh, turmeric is in one of the formulas I recommend by by the prestigious and one of my favorite brands, top brands called Health Force Nutritionals. Um, it's called Super Orac Extreme or Antioxidant Extreme. It's a really, really, really amazing formula. I actually haven't tried it yet because I've been trying so many other things and money is sometimes an issue, but I really can't wait to try this. And I've read so much about it. It has a number of things which are highly beneficial for helping your immune system be strong and protect you against antiviral, antifungal, anti-infection, antibacterial, all the thing which you want to have if you have an infection like hepatitis, which is a viral infection. So I highly recommend that formula phenomenally, like I was, and it has also green tea extract and the substance in green tea is also being scientifically proven to help significantly against hepatitis. So I originally in the link put a separate turmeric and a separate green tea and then I realized, well, to be honest, this health for us thing not only does it have the turmeric of highest quality, not only does and it has the, the green tea extract, but it has a whole lot of other things that are super awesome that are necessary so that it will enhance and synergistically work together with those substances to even boost you even more so I definitely recommend that formula as well another one thing actually from my website getting back to my website again I would suggest if you're interested it's not a must it's not a necessity but Hoshi Wu 
time proven my probably my favorite herb it's the one herb that's probably benefited me the most a super rejuvenator super deep energy restorative herb jing jing herb yin jing herb jing locking jing building your primordial essence your root fundamental energy like the way children have loads of energy and then they burn their jing with stimulants coffee drugs stress and bad diet this the jing get back to the childhood energy endless about boundless energy Hoshu, I love it. It's, it's, they say it's very high in zinc, iron and selenium. And selenium is one of the things that they say um, hepatitis helps to strip and rob from your cells. So, so if Hoshu has not only the selenium but a whole lot of other awesome things for blood building and restoring of energy. Things that when you have childbirth you get robbed of a lot of your jing. That's why they oft, mothers often like get postnatal depression because they've been in severe stress and depletion. It takes a lot of energy and vital force, what the, what the Chinese call jing, to uh, build and use to produce a new life. You need to be healthy and strong, have a good diet and good lifestyle, healthy lifestyle and diet. So, um, Ho Shu Wu, su supreme blood builder, high in selenium and zinc, just renowned. It's famous for hair, hair restoration, uh, hair loss restoration and hair colour restoration. I love Ho Shu took it today it's my favorite herb I'd recommend that and I probably my two other favorite herbs are probably cordyceps and gynostemma cordyceps for amazing energy and get go drive and ambition like really practical energy herb <laughs> and gynostemma for its super amazing balancing homeostasis activities and because it's so cheap compared to other things as well <laughs> um, so yeah I also put a supplement for selenium just in case anyone doesn't want to buy the Hoshiwu. Just to be safe, or I don't know the exact measurements of selenium and Hoshiwu, but I would recommend Hoshiwu. Um, but if you don't want to get Hoshiwu, get the selenium um, supplement at least. That's very cheap actually. Um, what else is up there? Like, if I had hepatitis C or hepatitis, beyond all of these things I'm mentioning, I'd just radically change my diet. I'd switch to what I'm already, my diet is, which is a vegan diet and largely a raw food diet, predominantly of fruits. But I also take herbs and supplements and I have salad. So this will naturally decrease any excess cholesterol in your body. Vegans don't get high cholesterol. It's almost unheard of, impossible almost. As, and they hardly get plaquing. They don't. They're not taking all the saturating fats and cholesterol that are in an excess, an extreme excess, in meats and fish and animal products like milk, dairy, cheese, eggs, ice cream, etc. This saturates you and clogs up your pipe system. That's why animal eaters and dairy eaters. They have skin issues. They have mental and emotional issues. They're more anger. Meat used to be fed to the warriors in the past because they knew it made you angry, more angry, more like aggressive and more or less peaceful, like less peaceful, you know. It saturates your system, it leads to strokes and heart attacks because you get a blood clot in your heart area or your, or your brain and then that's a heart attack or stroke for you. Vegans, very, very smaller chance, very small chance of getting heart attack or stroke. So, and raw foods, even better, healthy, proper raw food, plant-based, fruit-based diet. Works wonders for me, my health, my emotional health, my physical health, my mental health, really does, you feel so much better. Another thing I've had hepatitis, or even right now, I do daily enema, and I use one and a half to two sieved lemons juice, and I add it to the warm water, and I do a home enema every day. I'd highly recommend this for anybody, to be honest. We have 20 to 30 years worth or more worth of abhorrent, terrible, wretched diet. It'll make you sick. It's make, it's, we have a lot of undoing to do, guys. So, let me just check the time here. 14 minutes, that's not too bad. So, I'd recommend for anyone who's sick, not just hepatitis, anyone whatsoever. Anyone with the big C word, you know, you're not, sometimes you're not allowed to say it or whatever else. <laughs> Cack, you know. Yeah, that serious word. Anything like diabetes, 
I'd I recommend the raw vegan diet. Just move there gradually. And on my website, if you look below, ownfox.org, you'll see a book section where I recommend two health books strongly. And I have my own book too, which is not just about health, but it's about body, mind, spirit, emotions, spirituality, etc. I really recommend learning more and educating yourself about diet and cleaning yourself out. In the last two months since I've got serious about cleaning myself out, I've noticed significant health improvements, very significant. My assimilation and absorption has improved. I feel a million dollars better. And way more energy with less food. Like, I, can, I didn't know it could go so long with eating so little. I just, I'm more efficient my system is. So I've been, get, I've been detoxifying the like mucus and even, you know, you, you see the stuff coming out of you, let's put it that way, you know, and you, you don't want that stuff inside of you. That leads to sickness and disease. And I'm making this video in sincere care because I care about people sincerely, generally, genuinely, <laughs> when I'm in that place. You know, I do generally care a lot for people overall. And I don't want to see people sad, sick or suffering because I suffered so much in my life. I've been through a very hard life personally. And, and I'm glad and it made, made me who I am and I want to be this way, who I am. I want to expand, live a spiritual life. I even asked for hardships when I was smaller so I can go through adversity to help others and to ex expand as much as I could in this lifetime. But it's, I have compassion as a result of all my suffering been through a lot of pain and sadness and hardship and including physical loss too. My health, my fitness, my athleticism. I got sick very badly and I couldn't do stuff for a long time and felt terrible. So I hope this video helps and then let me see what else before I end it. Um, so cleansing and nourishing. So you want to get out the crap and get in the goodness. So there's the yin and the yang the male and the female, the in and the out. You want to get out the nonsense and the crap and the toxins and the waste and the sludge and the mucus and the hardened plaque. A lot of stuff inside of our body, a lot of toxins in the world. So then you're going to take in what I'm suggesting. You want to take in these things. Now, I'm surely have gone and forgot one or two little things, so I do highly recommend looking in the link below. And if you like this information or this video, do also look below and check out my website um, for other herbs for specific conditions, other things, issues, diseases, ailments, problems, etc. Imbalances. I have a many, many, many other video or many other like topics and suggestions for different issues that people have. So, I personally restored so much of my health, including also I used to wear glasses and I got rid of them, um, and I used to have really bad eye strain every single day, and. I, that went away, thank God, after around four or five, maybe even six months and taking herbs for my eye, for my eyes, just like some capsules, and that was the big one of the biggest life changing things that happened in my life for the last five years. Got rid of my, my glasses that were mild and especially the eye strain, because it was really sucked having like, like tired, aching eyes all the time. I have full faith in this information I'm sharing with you. Another thing that's recommended on the list is apple cider vinegar, but I I w I'd recommend squeeze lemons over that. I, I drink around, I drink two, two, I squeeze two full lemons every morning with warm water. Two lemons with um, around three glasses of warm water approximately. Two and a half, three glasses of warm water. It's whatever suits you. And then at night time I often have one lemon squeezed with warm water extremely flushing and dissolving of plaque, waste and mucus. You really want to get rid of this stuff in your body. It affects your absorption and assimilation, your mind and your energy and the functioning of your system if you're clogged up. So, or you could use apple cider vinegar if you like that. So, apple cider vinegar is good too. I used that for a few years. Um, um, what else? It, either eating a lot of like fruit or if you're not going to juice greens and juice like your, your green leafy vegetables or eat a lot of salad, I'd highly recommend getting a superfood powder of high quality. The ones I'd recommend would be um, Pure Synergy. Um, they do a phenomenal green formula, as does Health Force Nutritionals. As of yet, I, d I didn't have green formula on my website, but the company who, who one of the companies who supply me had a fantastic one. But he wants to make it better or change it around, so he's reformulating that. 
have a look at my website if you're watching this in the future I'm, sh I'm probably will I surely will have a green formula that I love and recommend that has greens and herbs and superfoods in it all at the same time so you want to remineralize and re-nutrify your body another thing you want to look after your stress don't overdo things or stress yourself and look after yourself get enough rest and sleep and don't overdo things as I said um, Uh, exercise gently, nothing too extreme, but do move and circulate your body, maybe stretch or gentle yoga. I don't do yoga personally, but I, I know a lot of people who like it and do, but for me I prefer stretching or like climbing up a tree or like body weight exercises or like press ups or pull ups or I love nature and I personally prefer exercising in nature or moving in nature, walk, going for a walk in nature, even if it's just to the shops. It's not the highest of nature if you're just walking around a suburb. At least you're getting the birds, the sunshine and the fresh air and you see trees around you also. So otherwise go to proper nature and get get a higher dose like in a in a park or like a forest or some some place wilder. So it's a holistic spectrum of body, mind, spirit and you want to be diligent, conscious and aware on all levels. So I've been so happy and I've loved making this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it has helped you. And I sincerely, from my heart, wish you all the best. If you have any questions, further questions or comments, or video requests, please leave a comment or question below. And if you're new, feel welcome to subscribe. If you feel like it, feel welcome to share the information if you think others might like it or benefit from it. And if you want, you can, if you can give it a like if you've liked the video. And other, other than that, just connect and feel welcome to check out my other videos on my channel wall here. I have various playlists on the whole body, mind, spirit topics. And people, communication, relationships is one of my own personal favourite ones, to be honest, because that's probably the most challenging and difficult thing in life. How to deal with people, how to become more of a master communicator. And when you do, you go from a lot of problems and conflict to having much more peace, happiness and harmony in life and your relationships. So take care. Lots of love. God bless.